Hey, guess what, everyone? We're on episode two. Woo-hoo! We made it. Ooh. Oh, we're still alive. We're still alive, <laughs> maybe. We'll see it till the end of this episode. We'll see, see what happens. if we happens. get eaten by a dragon. Uh, that is always a possibility. Yes. So, all right. Spoiler alert for those who have not listened to episode one. Yes. Go back and listen Spoiler to alert. it. Yeah, if you're <laughs> starting here. Yeah, if you're starting on episode two, what are you doing? Go back to episode one. Come on now. Hi, everyone. I am Corin. I am your dungeon master today. And with me are... Kayla, and I am playing Celestine Peacechild. David, and I am playing Lord Usarker Von Pride. I am Ashlyn. I am playing Izzy. I'm Ander, and I'm playing Kurt... Bernhard. So, last we left off, we met Celestine, a human cleric of Tempest who found an inn after doing something Tempesty that may or may not have it ended in bloodshed. It Kurt, did. Kurt, <laughs> a large human logger barbarian searching for a man named Jaden, whom he calls his brother, Usarker. A tall, pale human man who rode into town for currently unknown reasons and, according to a few residents, may or may not be a vampire. <laughs> Izzy, a pale, blue-skinned air genasi who, after befriending a four-year-old named Taryn by giving her a bracelet from her ever-growing Genetsi shop, promptly ran towards a large blue dragon attacking the town of Greenest. These four heroes, after donning armor and weapons, saved a woman la- named Linan and her family, one of the children being the four-year-old Izzy befriended, and decided amongst themselves to help the family find safety in the keep located at the center of town, and to figure out who is commanding the kobolds running amok within the city walls. So you guys, at this moment, you just save Lenan and Kuth, Swift, um, and their children. Uh, Izzy, you managed to know them as Willow, Taryn, and Reggie. They are crying because they don't know what's going on, and the sounds of uh, sounds of fire and people screaming and absolute chaos is starting to get closer. The the sounds were when you first uh, left the inn were fairly quiet, but now they're starting to get much much louder. And you think that the sounds are coming directly in your direction. What do you do? We need to get you folks to safety. I believe we discussed this and realized that with the hooded figures over there looking very much so different than the townsfolk, sending them to the keep is suicide unless we clear the way first. And I don't see any town guard or knights doing it uh, for us. Yes, we're, we're going to lead them there. Yep. Uh, Celestine can take the lead with her giant hammer. Um... And yeah, do we just want to keep going or do we want to take back roads? Linan, uh, your your family is from here. Uh, What is going to be the safest way that you can think of to get to the keep? Well, and she's like, she's out of breath. She's, you know, covered in gore, cobalt gore. And she goes, well, uh, if we, if we take a left here, we might be able to bypass some of the um, some of the people coming towards us who are, and you can see now at this point she's starting to get very very nervous because now she's starting to see people in hooded figure or hood and mm. hooded robes and uh, more kobolds you also see uh, a bunch of kobolds holding things like four of them are trying to carry a wardrobe away oh my goodness and one is carrying a cat with a bell around its collar and the cat's like <laughs> <laughs> I'm no, impressed <laughs> Yeah, and another one has, like, pants on its head and is running around with, like, <laughs> pots in its hands. And it's, Lots again, chaos. And she says, if you guys, if you guys go, if we go left, we might be able to go through the the area. And left, in this case, would be east. Okay. Um, Which is the so direction we Co- want to go. Corin, like I have a question. Yes. So I assume Lord Usarker has studied thoroughly the map that we have. Right? Is that allowable? You were probably, that, you that allowable? When you got here? You were probably um, studying it on the carriage ride I, here. I assume right now. <laughs> that as a person who is very keen on information, that I would have procured one if at all possible. Okay. I'll say, yeah, I'll say that's, that's very easy. That yeah. being the case, I can see from the map that there is a green hill in between us and the keep itself. And that's it. Which means that 
if the cultists are down the road from us, uh, it, it would be probably very hard to slip past them unnoticed. Does that seem correct? Yeah. In that case, when she starts suggesting bypassing them, I'm going to look and see how many of these cultists are there. Uh, coming that up. you can see coming towards you? Mm-hmm. You actually see a group uh, huddled together. Uh, you see five kobolds, one of them, uh, and you see a, a sixth one flying up above. A flying kobold? Wait, you see mm. a flying kobold. It's flying by itself mm-hmm. with wings. Yep. Oh, the thing. So it's like a flying mm. pig. Yeah, it's, it's a winged kobold. When kobolds fly. <laughs> yeah, when kobolds, apparently <laughs> today is the day. Today. <laughs> and you do see one cultist uh, coming around the corner and is uh, looking around for any townsfolk or anybody who might be might be an easy grab. I am going to suggest in that case. Friends, we have to deal with this sooner or later, and with them near the keep, getting past them is going to be dangerous at best. I suggest we take it head on and confront them directly and scatter them at least and destroy them at best. Mm-hmm. That way, anybody else we send down this way is less likely to be threatened. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Linan says, we, we, we can do that, we can do that. There, there is an alleyway down here if we want to try and s- sneak, but I don't know what's really on the east side. Our horse and our caravan, when it heard the roar, went went north, and it went above the the mount, or the uh, hills over there, and that's, that's why I was able to find my husband so easily. But unfortunately, we don't... We don't, we don't really know what's on the other side, so head-on might be might be the best option, but uh, I, I, what, what am I going to do with my children? We're bringing them with us. I got your children, um, and Kurt scoops them up. Okay, you um, can scoop up. Well, you probably could do three. Yeah, yeah they're pretty, they're pretty <laughs> yeah. Mr. Two Bernhardt. in each arm and Kurt, one on Kurt the... is very strong. Right. Mr. Yeah. Bernhardt, not to douse on your good intentions, but perhaps the mother and the father should take the children and you should use the, that axe that you have to make sure that nothing harms them. So it's me fine. He's got so, a point, yeah. Yeah, so just just um, out, out of game, just so you guys know, the children with you can only go half speed mm-hmm. uh, if you want to keep with them, and which I, I'm fairly sure you want to do. Mm-hmm. Um, also, if you hold one in your hand, you cannot do two-weapon fighting, yeah. mm-hmm. and you cannot use a two-handed weapon. Okay. Fair. So yes. um, Usarker actually would prefer not to have the children go with him and would instead prefer to meet the cultists head on and have the children follow up as fast as they can. Okay. Cool. That way they don't actually get into the fighting. All right. So you see up ahead five kobolds, one of, and there's, again, there's a sixth one that's flying and one person with a hood over their head. And it looks to be the, the person with the hood over their head, it seems to be pointing in random directions and kicks one of them and says, no, no, put the cat down. You don't want the cat. And the and the kobold says, but but shiny, it has shiny on it. It has shiny on neck. What do you do? Uh, they have not seen forward. you yet and they don't seem to be looking at you specifically. Um, I draw my scimitars. Okay. Start going forward. So do we want I, I to think s- that we should move as quickly as we can. Mm-hmm. Um, if they engage us, we should you know, fend them off, but not get bogged down and fighting to kill them. If uh, Kurt and Celestine were to run screaming mm-hmm. into the midst of them, I think we can break some of the kobolds and make them run. That would decrease the amount of people we have to fight. So like an intimidation thing? Yeah. yeah. Scare them off. Go for it. Sure. Want to do that? Okay. I yes. believe in you, Kurt. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I run out there screaming. Um, okay. You may or may I, not rage. I'll yeah. be following along with <laughs> um, and go doing my war battle cry. Me, um, no. Some defense. De- mechanically, delay until you actually get into combat. Otherwise, okay. it'll fail. That's right. Yeah. Okay. But thematically, you're right. raging. Yes. <laughs> you're starting to foam at the mouth. <laughs> yeah. Well, I got to build up to it, you know? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you can't go from yourself. zero to 60. You got to, you know. <laughs> I hit 30 first. <laughs> Celestine right. is running Hulk, right along. Always angry. No, I'm not always angry. All right, so you guys run, running, running towards them. Are, are you screaming? Are you yelling oh, at them? Oh, what, yeah. What, are, what are you, exactly are you guys doing? I don't um, believe subtlety to be our strong suit. Therefore, they will be screaming, and I will not be. I will be running either. with them, but I am running. Yes. Okay. Are you all running towards? Them? Yes. Yes. Okay. Cool. 
Go ahead and, well, first of all, you guys make intimidation checks. Okay. Because you guys are running screaming at them and the kobolds are like, what? What? What's happening? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Celestine is yelling a, oh. uh, um, a war cry of Tempest. And right now you can't quite tell what it is. And I'm sure when I come up with one, I will tell you what it was. But Perfect. yeah, yes. By Tempest Might. You know. <laughs> I like it. By Tempest Would Might. Would you like and... us to all roll intimidation or simply the person with the highest score? Uh, anybody who is doing the intimidating, go ahead and roll your intimidation check for Ten. right now. I got a four. Okay. I've got a minus one in charisma, so it's, it's really not great. But I'm trained. <laughs> Although, Usarker, <laughs> um, if you and Izzy want to give them advantage for doing that... You guys are more than welcome to. I mean, I am brandishing my scimitars very threateningly behind Kurt. All right. He is a vampire. I mean, he looks like a vampire. <laughs> it looks like. We, we... You can't tell what I look like. I have a helmet on. Oh, I'm okay. sorry. Okay. You look very scary. A black helmet. <laughs> it, All right. So black Celestine Kurt. has seen Usarker. No, no, no. She knows, but th- uh-huh. I'm not trying to intimidate her. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, okay. So Kurt and uh, Celestine, go ahead and roll that intimidation check with advantage now. Okay. Yay. I need it. Net 20! Yay. Much better. I appreciate uh, Sarkis' help. 22. Okay. Seven. Seven? Oh. <laughs> Not ready. Well, it's I'm going to still better. <laughs> oh, no. All right, so... Dice jail for you. Three of the kobolds look at Kurt and uh, go, does he have rabies? <laughs> <laughs> but then they... But the rest of them look at Celestine and they go, she has a weapon! <laughs> and the one with the cat throws the cat up in the air and the cat goes, Rawr! and lands, you know, softly on its feet and then just kind of like licks itself and then, you know, pads away. Like nothing ever happened. Nothing. As, cats not in the middle do, of as cats do. And uh, the uh, other four, there are four who are trying to carry this wardrobe. They drop the ro- wardrobe and um, they start backing away. Nice. All right. Okay. Charging okay. on into them. Here we go. I say we go point, for the go hooded ahead and guy. Roll for initiative. Oh. He seems to be in charge. Much better. Okay. Um, I have a twenty-one. Okay. Very nice. Kurt got a twenty-one. Is he? I rolled with a different die. Ten. Okay. Uh, Starker. Sixteen. I rolled a 12, so my initiative is 10. Okay. <laughs> and definitely below Izzy. Uh, okay, so I'm assuming that Izzy has the higher decks. Yes. <laughs> yes. I Very much yes. so. A lot All right. Higher. Cool. <laughs> okay, first up. It looks like. Wait, Kurt, what was your initiative? Um, 23. Okay, 21, so Kurt, you are 21. first. You're okay. first up. Um, my, my goal is to distract them and keep them occupied. Um, so I'm, I'm going to go ahead and swing at one of them or try and swing at multiple. Okay. Um, and what you, weapon are you using? Um, I know I said I had a great act last time. I think I'm going to choose a battle axe instead That's fine. in the future just because that fits more of his wood axe. Mm-hmm. Um, so flavored, that's what it is. Sure. Why um, not? But we're all friends here. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so I, I'm that swinging at that, you know, with a, with a, a mighty roar, uh, swinging at the, the nearest kobold group. Okay, the nearest kobold to you would have been the one who dropped the cat. Yeah. Uh, the cat, again, is sauntering away <laughs> as you go to yeah. smack this I thing. I step over the cat and swing <laughs> at the kobold. All right, so this is kobold A. A. Go ahead and roll. Okay. Oh, okay. I, I just got a one. Um, Ooh. Uh, Okay. I don't have good karma tonight. <laughs> Did he slip on the cat? Oh no! <laughs> over the Kurt, cat. how do you want to fail? Uh, <laughs> yeah. this one. I, I think it has to do with the cat. Um, okay. Is trying to step over the cat. It moved the wrong direction. I stepped on the cat, and mm-hmm. it like freaked out, and I freaked out, um, and like leaped back and. Um, probably put myself in a spot that opens up an opportunity for the kobold. All right. So the cat does take a swipe at you. Um, <laughs> if this kills it, you. It latches it latches onto your ankles. It's not going to do any damage, but sure. it's going to let you know who's boss. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And Sh- it, Should I add the cat to my inventory? <laughs> <laughs> uh, mm, 
It is now latched onto your leg. We'll okay. just say that. So I equip if you it. keep the cat, you can add the cat to your inventory. It has equipped itself. <laughs> okay. Yes. It's uh, like a cursed is there anything, item. <laughs> is there anything else you want to do? Um, they were in that to block people. All right. Next up is uh, Linan and Kuth. They are. They're going to stand back, and they're going to. They're actually going to hold their action to see what's going to happen. Whether did, they need to take a swing or if they need to. Did we, we, did we, did did we create some <laughs> space between them and us? I was I, hoping that have, we would move fast enough so that the children would not be in danger. Yeah, you guys at this point are about 15, 20 feet ahead of them. But okay. it, just in their initiative, they're just going to hold. They're going to wait. So okay. they're in random axe range. Okay. Yes. Yes. They're in bow range if, they, if somebody takes a snipe at them. Uh, okay, next up is uh, the cultists. So the cultists, unfortunately, uh, was frightened. <laughs> <laughs> yes. And the cultist is going to actually turn tail and run. Good. Ooh. Yep. Uh, Went through a dagger in his back. Yeah, and he's just saying, I "You, all of you, take care of them. Take care of them. <laughs> and he's just going to run. Next up is Usarker. All right. So I am going to, stepping forward here and knowing that the cultist is the most dangerous one, I have my war scythe out. I'm going to put it into my left hand for a moment. I'm going to use my free draw that I can get on a movement to pull out my hand axe, and I'm going to throw it at the escaping cultist. All right, go ahead and make that attack. Do not roll a one and throw it in my back. I did not roll a one. Okay, good. <laughs> I did roll a seven. That's fine. Um... <laughs> I mean, not really fine. How, however, not really fine, however, but it's better than the one. With, with my attack bonus, a seven becomes a 12. A 12 hits. All right. I see he wears not much armor. I do seven damage. Hey, this, uh, this guy looks extremely hurt. With I a am weapon in their back. <laughs> I'm going to take my, um, my pole arm back in two hands. And I'm going to call out to call out. I'm going to say, Isidora, kill the cultist before he gets away. And okay, I by the way, it's Isidor. <laughs> There's no Dora. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm using Tandem Tactician to give her help on that. Okay, so cool. your next attack will have advantage. Only if I attack the cultist, though. Right? Yes. Mm -hmm. Cool. I was planning on that anyways. So thanks. Hooray. <laughs> All right. Usarker, is there anything else you would like to do? That is the end of my turn. Okay, next up is the Kobolds. Kobold A is very upset that he dropped his cat. <laughs> and so he <laughs> is going to, he he takes out a dagger and he's going to try and dagger. Uh, let's see. I'm, I'm probably the biggest Kurt's threat right, right in He's going to go right? for Kurt since Kurt tried to attack him. Kobold B is actually right next to him, so he has advantage on this. Does a does an eighteen hit? Um, because I have my shield on, it does not. Nice. Um, because I have an eighteen armor class. Oh. <laughs> oh well, in that case. Yeah, that's why I went with the the battle axe, as though I could do it one handed. Nice. So. Makes sense. So he he goes yeah. And he tries to stab you. It goes clang. It goes clang off of your shield. <laughs> Cobalt B is also going to take a swipe at you. Okay, so that is a 21. Oh, that's a hit. Okay. So Cobalt B. Ducks under the shield and strikes. Yes, very much so. No, 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 I'm looking at the wrong. Hold on. That cobalt. Should be a D4. There we go. It's a D4. I was like, that doesn't make sense. <laughs> no, that wouldn't. So that is a total of five points of damage to Ooh. you. Okay. Reduced to two, I believe, because you're raging, right? He's not raging. I'm not raging. You are not? Okay, so yeah. five points of damage. I should. But, um, Didn't use that as your bonus action when you tripped over the cat. I, I'm still getting used <laughs> to playing Barbarian, so. Uh, yeah. I, I you know, They're fun. Uh, cats can kick anyone out of rage if they yeah. surprise them enough. <laughs> <laughs> it is true. Uh, even you said five even the not actual rage, but the build up to the rage. Yeah. <laughs> C. Okay, so Cobalt C, D, and E, which 
I, I'm looking pretty rough at the moment. I'm at six out of sixteen. Yikes! So, so C, okay. D, and E, uh, they were they were the ones holding the wardrobe along with B. B decided to t try to attack. C, D, and E were frightened enough of Celestine that they're also going to try and book it. Okay, sweet. Since we are in combat, are they taking a disengage action? They are not. And so, who would get an attack of opportunity again? Um, I would say who has a range of 10 feet on I the do. weapon. You do? So uh -huh. you can. You can take an attack of opportunity on C, D, or E. Which one are you going for? I'm going to go after C, and I got a 17. That nice. hits. That is an almighty 12 damage. Uh, how do you want to do this? Um, I probably just slash him with a large sweeping blade and he goes down. I'm not paying too much attention to him. He's just some of the chafe. Chaff? Sure, that one. That's appropriate with a scythe. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it is. War scythe, though it is. <laughs> All right. So no one else has a reach of 10 feet because they were a little bit behind. Nope. No. Nope. Okay, so easy. It is your turn. Yay, Izzy will go. Izzy, because she has been given this advantage by her new teammate, Lord Pride, she is going to go after the running cultist. Okay, go for it. So she runs up and... Uh, are you running through the kobolds? I mean, most of them are running away too, aren't they? Yeah, but B, A and B are still there. Okay, I will take attacks of opportunity from A and B, I guess. Okay. I guess that's just what's going to happen, because I'm going after the cultist. <laughs> okay, I mean, you could go around them if you wanted to. You Do I have enough movement to catch up to him? Uh, are you doing a melee? Or you, oh, you have scimitars, right? Yes. So yeah, you'd have to take a tax of opportunity. To then do up. that. Okay. So... That is a natural 20. Oh, Ooh, ouch. ouch. Well, we've had our first one of the day and our first 20 of the day. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And not in our favor. <laughs> Well, so, no, Kay Kayla had a, a, a 20. That is, true, that is true, but it was for a skill check. An yeah, almighty five points of damage on the first one. We're still low level, so five's a five. Mm. Does a <laughs> 19 hit? Ooh, yes. Ooh. Ooh. A? Eek. <laughs> five points of damage. How's EC doing? Yeah, we, we, we need to not get caught up in the fight and move. Okay, so you've made it to the cultist. Yep. Who's running away. Um, and I'm going to attack him with my scimitars. Okay. And I have advantage. Is the advantage only on the first attack against him? It says that you have advantage um, on the attack action. I can look up the rule if okay. you like. Okay, that's fine. I think that should mean... So oh. that is a 16 to hit. That hits. All right. When you take the help action, a, the creature you aid gains advantage on the next ability check it makes to perform the task. So that should be one. Okay, so attack, one. Not okay, both. perfect. Uh, that's nine points of damage. You kill the cultist. How would you like to do this? Yes. So as I get attacked by two kobolds as I run by. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. And, ow, that really hurts. Uh, I run up to the cultist and I take one of my scimitars and I just slash at his back kind of diagonally from shoulder to hip. And he falls down. Okay, blood everywhere. Cool. Eh. Next is actually the winged kobold. Oh, yeah. So he's oh, yeah. flying up above you, so he is actually going to drop down and try and hit uh, Kurt. Okay. Is that an attack of opportunity? No, because he's no. coming from, from above. No. Okay. He only provokes an AOP if he leaves somebody's threatened area. Yeah, not going into. Okay. Uh, I'm used to playing my spear and character. And this is... Mm. So he try so he chucks his dagger at you and it just goes fling, brr, like right at the bottom of your feet. Yeah. Not next to the one with the cat, but the other. <laughs> <one>. <laughs> mm -hmm. And the cat startled clings harder. Yeah. <laughs> All right, it is now Celestine. It is you have your to turn. Protect whiskers. Uh, I'm going to attack. Is it goblin or uh, cobalt? A that's attacking Kurt. Actually, A and B. Can I hit the one that's B. in the air? Is he yeah. close enough? He, or did he get uh, up out of I range? I would say he's about 10 feet away. Okay, so if he's I... He's 10 feet up in the air. Okay, so I mm. can't. Because you wouldn't, you wouldn't get close enough to, like, 
actually be swat. Okay, so that's out of my reach if I have a, a five foot reach. Yes. Okay. Yeah. You can throw it. <laughs> I am not throwing my hammer. <laughs> I don't think it throws well. <laughs> ah, yes. There, there the are legendary throwing dwarven hammers. thrower. There are throwing hammers. They're usually a little smaller than the one I carry. Yeah, so there's yeah. A and B okay. sitting on Kurt. Okay, I'm gonna I, go I after see a. a hammer of thunderbolt in your future if you uh, beg oh, the DM. Oh, yes. That would be a thing. Okay, so that would be a nat 20. Ooh. Oh, okay. Nice. That's a 26. Kayla's luck is starting to show. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> this, this is a, a, a common thing in our, our home games that Kayla <laughs> rolls lots of criticals all the Always. time. It's the Kayla effect. Like, whenever it's her turn, we all just sit back and go, yeah, okay. <laughs> she, she got it. it. It should be noted uh, that she picked up this reputation a long time before she played a high-level champion fighter with an 18 to 20 critical range. Oh, yes, that was, that was, that was oh. the best. That was the best. <laughs> yep. Okay, nine damage. All right. Oh, wait. I Was it for just, A or B? That was A. I mean, technically, well, sorry. How I would you like to roll. kill A? <laughs> um, we're just gonna, he's just gonna get pulverized by the hammer. All right. Flung Swap. across the way. Yep. <laughs> he's just gone. Is it like a fly swatter? Like, poof. Yes, exactly. Nice. Oh. All right. Mm -hmm. Round two. Kurt. Um... Does it hurt to rage? Because the rage is almost, because the fight's almost over. Fight's almost over. Yeah, I have to rage sooner. <laughs> Anyways, um, yeah. So I, I, I have continue. a cat on my leg and a kobold in front of me. You do. Um, Kick the kobold. <laughs> <laughs> um, With the cat. Maybe the cat will do <laughs> some extra damage. <laughs> um, uh, no, I, I'm going to leave whiskers on the, you know, on the ground. Um, You've named it. I have. Oh no, you're I, I intend on taking the cat with me out of this. Because <laughs> why not? Um, Is this going to have words with you? <laughs> oh, we'll, we'll, no. I'm, I'm sure we'll come to some sort of understanding. Um, <laughs> and I'm going to go ahead and swing at the. Well, w with my battle axe at the kobold. Um, okay. It's in front of me. Okay. Uh, that is 16 plus 7. That hits. Yeah. Um, and. 1d8. Uh, Don't uh, roll. It's okay. dead. I did 8 damage. Ooh, that's <laughs> if you have a plus that's 5, nice. it's it's automatically dead. <laughs> so, alright, how do you want to kill this thing? Um, so, I've got an axe. Um, I think that it gets picked up into the air with the strike. Uh, and, like, flight gets thrown near like at the uh, winged kobold, not enough to like do anything, but like thematically, it's like whoosh <laughs> as the kobold goes flying by. All right. Um, I, I want to turn to the others and say, you know, get them out of here, uh, to the the family, and we we need to keep moving. All right. At this at this mention, uh, Linan uh, picks up two of her children, and Kuth picks up the third one, and they just start booking it. Because it is their turn. <laughs> okay, the cultist is dead. Usurker, it is now your turn. He is a fool of a kobold, having flown down so low and thinking that he's out of range. I use the almighty reach of my blade and reach up and poke at him. All right, <laughs> go ahead and do the pokes. <laughs> I have a 19 to hit. Okay. That hits. Mm, nice. Unfortunately, I only do six points of damage. All right. Ooh. He looks extremely hurt by that poke. Very, very hurt by that poke. Is but enough he is knock him still out of the air? alive, and he's still flying. And then I'm going to say, he's going to wise up. Does anyone have a ranged weapon? Isidore, I see you have a bow. Kurt, you have a axe. Drop your other one and pick it up later. I'm going to give them the help action. Which one? Both of them. You can do it for two people? I can. That's oh. why it's called Tandem Tactician. Nice. Cool. All right. So is that just on our turn? We have advantage to do that thing. Right. Mm -hmm. Cool. To All attack right. the winged kobold. All right. A, B, and C are dead. D and E are still running. Easy door, it's your turn. All right. Uh, at the 
word of Lord Pride, I'm going to drop my scimitars and take out my longbow and shoot an arrow at this kobold. Go for it. That's flying in the air. Uh, that is a... Advantage? Oh, yeah. Ha, ha. I mean, I'm sure that would do it, but yep. my tactical <laughs> genius has aided you. <laughs> it, it did. Let's... Uh, that is a total of 20. Uh, how do you want to do this? It only had one hit point. <laughs> <laughs> so as I drop the scimitars and grab out my longbow and uh, place the arrow in the string and pull it back, I set my sight on the wing kobold. And it seems to be taunting Usarker. And I just <laughs> let it fly and it uh, hits his shoulder um, kind of... I don't know where wings are on the winged kobolds, but I'm assuming it's kind of near the shoulder yeah, blades. Sh so I, I aim blade. for like the shoulder blade where his wing is. Um, right, they're like little <laughs> lizard angels. <laughs> and it, it kind of like goes through him and like also rips, uh, ruptures his wing a little bit. Right, so it Ooh. falls Black. and goes, ah, no, I wanted the cat, and then dies. <laughs> oh, they all wanted the cat. <laughs> they all wanted the cat. So you guys The cat officially... deserves better. So you guys are officially out of combat. But Let's keep running. We gotta keep there protecting are more the land. Coming, tw coming towards you guys. We're wow. they're, 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 they're further away. Question. Yes. So there is a there are enemies coming towards us. Mm -hmm. Where are they in relation to Leenan and Co? Are mm -hmm. Leenan and Co able to make it to the keep, or is there right. something? You guys have not danger. even made it to the next intersection, and you have. One, two intersections before you take a the road to the keep. Till you go east to get to the keep. Yeah, we gotta so get moving. Even Otherwise, we're gonna get bogged yet. down. Okay. Also, I'm gonna bonus action second wind. Yeah, there you okay. go. Yes, <laughs> go for it. Great for fighters. Oh yeah, it's a ten. Woo! Nice. I needed that. <laughs> okay. So in that case, I suggest that Bernhardt is correct, and we press on. If we can Can't clear get bogged this down too much, we got to keep moving. If we can clear this route, then we can continue to direct people this way. All right. So is Leanne Le uh, following the road? She is. She's following the road south, and she is okay. just about to get to the intersection. Okay. The so second intersection. I'm going to dash to catch up with them, so I can be in front of the group for when we get to the next encounter. Same. All right. All right. Cool. So you guys end up getting to the the intersection. Uh, you see off to the east, there is a lot more um, panic happening over there. Again, you see kobolds, you see uh, people in hoods, and you also, also I see... did pick up my scimitars, just FYI. Yeah, that's Good important. to note. <laughs> <laughs> you also see um, these small, small dragon-like things kind of slinking up and down the buildings. What? And just every once in a while, you'll see them pounce on a person. Hmm. Uh, but you're not entirely sure are they blue? Be anything beyond that. They are not. Are they They're killing people or are they still like are they uh, winged? You can't tell. There's uh, too much chaos going on. I've are had they... an idea, I say. Easy door, is there any tall buildings around? As the only member of our band with a bow, you might perhaps be able to pick off some of these hooded figures or at least drive them into cover. I could try that. Alright. Go ahead and make an attack roll. Okay. Uh, there is a there is a cultist about sixty feet away from you. Cool. I believe that's in within. So what I was yes. suggesting was that she maybe find like a bell tower, a, 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 a church tower, or you know a tall building. Would that mean separating? Oh, got it. And yeah. So there's that. nothing. The highest thing in this city is a keep. Is the keep? You you do see a couple two story buildings if you want to try and scale them. I, I'd say let's get to the keep and then start sniping there. Yeah. Um, our, our goal is to get the family there, right? Yes, um, and while I am fine with that, my thought process, and I'm saying this while we're walking, right? Yeah. Like, I'm not stopped walking. My thought process is that they are moving unimpeded right now, mm -hmm. and if they at least feared to be shot by an arrow, they would move more slowly and That's cautiously. Right. Okay. I mean, I can shoot them as we're, like, going. Yeah. I can, like, take two seconds to pause and aim and shoot as we're running. That seems very reasonable. Great, so go ahead and make a shot. All right. Uh, That's mm -hmm. a nine. Uh, your arrow, your arrow goes a little bit too far. Does not hit the the cultist, but it does hit the ground. And suddenly, like the cultist looks around and goes, "What was that? Who did that?" <laughs> that works. Impeding their progress. That mm -hmm. works. Mm -hmm. 
How, how many attacks do you want to do as you guys are continuing? Um, I'll say I'll do it like once per like six seconds round type thing. Okay, so go ahead and make, uh, as you guys are crossing this intersection, you'll probably get two more rounds off. Okay. So if you want to do that, you're more than welcome to. Sure. Uh, that is a eight. <laughs> <laughs> Again, misses. Yep. Oh, that's much better. That is a 21 to hit. All right, nice. that hits. Great. For damage. That is seven points of damage. All right, you managed to hit one of them. Cool. Uh, in the back, they're not facing you. And he goes, ah, oh, what was that? Was that you? And he takes the butt of his um, sword in his hand and he smacks one of the kobolds on the head. <laughs> <laughs> so in confusion in the ranks. <laughs> yes, awesome. But, it, but in this, but because of this, you guys managed to clear the intersection without any issue. But as you guys uh, get past the next house, um, three, wait, I guess, sorry, five kobolds jump out of the alleyway, not not in a surprise round, but they jump out and they are carrying handfuls of um, what looked to be gold, but you're not entirely sure if it is or not. It's just shiny. Mm. And uh, another one has tools in his hand and another one has hangers. So while Izzy was picking off, Mm -hmm. um, my, my idea and thought process was to be on the lookout for anybody who was going to try and rush us and protect that. Mm -hmm. So I would like to try and intercept that. Okay. Um, they don't look to be rushing you yet, mm -hmm. um, but they're they're talking amongst themselves. They're like, man, this is such a good haul. We okay. might be able to use this to like to like make some traps and stuff. Okay. Make some traps. Um, but they are in your way. So. They're in our in our way. Okay, yeah. I'm gonna huck um, intimidation my... check. I think we'd like to charge them more stridently. Walk. I'm going to throw them. my hand axe out. Nice. Them. Okay, that'll be good. Uh, that would be me. Also, I'm imagining glorious golden spiked traps. Oh no. <laughs> because they're gonna use the gold to make sp traps. Oh. <laughs> so, you, know, you fall into a Very pit. Very shiny and traps. And are, are sort of impaled by gold <laughs> <laughs> all right so as you go to throw one of them sees you and he goes ah incoming we've got somebody fighting back so go ahead and roll for initiative everybody ah i rolled to see if they would see you and sure. unfortunately they did a that's fair it happens uh i have a six okay kurt got a six but I has, your, act has your rage? He left? hasn't used his second used rage, my rage yet. Used rage yet. Okay, yeah. cool. Um, Usarker. Twelve. Celestine. Negative one. I rolled Zero. a nat one. <laughs> I rolled a nat one. <laughs> nice. Yep. Uh, Izzy board. <laughs> that deserves a high uh, five. Izzy got a twelve. <laughs> uh, who has the higher decks, Usarker or Izzy door? Um, undoubtedly, Easy Door has a much higher dex than I do. Okay, with cool. my score of 19. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. He's quick. He's like a dancer. All right, so, Easy Door. Kurt is about ready to throw his hand axe. What do you do? Okay, um, I still have my bow out, and, but how far away are they from us? They are, when, when you guys saw them, they're about 20 feet away. Okay. Um, that's the range of my hand axe, so that's good. <laughs> <laughs> Is that too close for a longbow? <laughs> no? It's uh, not, but okay. if you're better with swords, then it might be a good excuse to drop the bow <laughs> and pull out the sword. I'm, I'm equally efficient with my uh, bow as I am with my swords. I just can't do my offhand attack, but that's okay. Um, and I kind of got hurt last time. I kind of want to stay ranged. Right. <laughs> So uh, I'm going to uh, shoot with my bow. All right. That is a 17 to hit. That hits. Nice. That is max damage, 10 points. Ooh. How do you want to kill this thing twice over? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I just am quickly shooting an arrow as soon as I see a, a, one of the kobolds uh, approach uh, out of the alley. Uh, probably the one carrying the... Um, Oh my gosh, they were carrying a bunch of gold things. And the yeah. wardrobe. 
shiny thing. No, not the wardrobe. There, no, there, wardrobe's one had, Oh, one I'm, I'm, I'm shooting the one that was hanging, uh, was carrying all the hangers. Oh, okay. the hangers. <laughs> Hit the hanger guy. <laughs> Mr. Hanger. Yes, I was like, there was one that was carrying just one thing unlike the rest. <laughs> Which one was it? <laughs> hanger guy. <laughs> all right, so how do, how do you kill him? Sorry. Uh, I just shoot my arrow at him. Shoot him. You get a, uh, you get him in the throat, and he dies. Okay. <laughs> All right. Next up, Usarker, it is your turn. Since we are twenty feet away, I am going to use twenty of my movement in order to move up to them, and the remaining ten to move around behind them, somewhat encircling them. Okay. And I am going to slash at one of the ones holding the coin in gold, whether it is or is not, and see what happens. All right. That is a. 18. That hits. I do 11 points of damage. You managed to kill it twice over plus one. How do you do this? <laughs> so in this case, yeah, I mean, you know, I Walked am not overly enthused by these, so it's a simple thrust, and it pierces through the rib cage, and then I withdraw the bullet. All right. I am going to then... Um, there's one. There's one more still holding um, coinage. Uh, there is one holding tools. In tools. Sand. That's and the then the other result. one, you do see that there is a fourth one. Or you see, there's two more behind them. So you manage to see three holding and two not. They're they're still standing there as well. All right. So I'm going to say, um, Celestine, this one with tools, kill him before he can draw his weapon. Okay. Okay. And that is going to be the end of my turn. Once I get my uh, my foot out of this hole, I managed to plant it in. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. So, uh, so that was tandem like tactician. A, that was yes. Okay. It's like a horse uh, or something like is that. Is there a yeah. limit to that one, <laughs> or is it just as many the, times? The as limit you want? is I can use that as a bonus action. Okay. Cool. Good to know. Nice. All right. So Lena Ann and Kuth are again. They're gonna try and run. Lena Ann unfortunately has two kids in her in her arms, so she can only go uh, 40 feet. No. That would be really, really fast well, of her. It, um, Half he, speed. She's she's 30. She's she can do 30, but she's dashing. Oh, Sorry. I got you now. Sorry, yeah. yeah. So she can do 30 feet, but she's dashing with yeah. two children. Gotcha. Um, all right, and Kuth follows suit. All right, is now one of the cultists' turn that you did not notice, and it just mm-hmm. came out. So, go, and he goes, what? What is going on? They're not supposed to be fighting us. And he pulls out a scimitar and moves up to, moves up to Osarker because you moved up, correct? Mm-hmm. And he's going yeah. to take a swing at you. I look down at him <laughs> darkly. <laughs> darkly. No with humor a, in with that a face. vampire's gaze. <laughs> <laughs> You're just gonna have that you. joke does forever. A does a 13 hit? It does not. All I right, feel like so the misses. cultist got disadvantaged just from the glare that Usarker gave him. <laughs> Ah, I think it's a vampire. Yeah. <laughs> All right, it is now Dark, the second cultist's eyes. turn. He Gear also out from the helmet. Yeah. So it's now uh, the second cultist's turn, and he takes out a scimitar as well and tries to hit Usarker. The yeah, outside, yeah, one. So he he goes to swing, and he notices there's a cat on a leg, and he's like, <laughs> "What in the oh, world? No. <laughs> you never and, took off whiskers from your no, leg?" And whiskers his... coming with. <laughs> Whiskers and is equipped. Yes. <laughs> yes, please equipped cat. The cat is coming with you. Okay. And so he, he goes, he sees the cat, and he's like, what in the heck? And he he accidentally, like, puts gets a scimitar stuck into the side of the house. Hmm. Like um, one of the so wood fun. things. Oh, no. One of the wood uh, bars. Yeah. Are there any opportunity attacks from this one? No. Probably uh, too far away. I have a uh, very long yeah. No, uh, uh, 5e does not have opportunity attacks for mist. So, uh, Kurt, it is now your turn. Okay, well, see, seeing the cultists, and that's like what I'm about, um, is because the cultists took my brother Jaden, um, is that I'm going to take the fight to them. Um, okay. And swinging my, my woodsman axe, um, are you going to go after the cultist who got a scimitar stuck or yeah. the one who just missed? Uh, I'm going to do the one who just got his uh, scimitar stuck. That's okay. an opening. Cool. The 10. A 10 misses, unfortunately. Okay. Uh, okay, so I, I bonus action, I moved, um, and I attacked. So. With his miss, 
can we see whether these cultists are protected in any form with armor, or are they just um, relying on natural dexterity to jump into play? That is a good question. Let me check. They look to have very simple leather armor. All right. All right. Cobalt A's dead. B's dead. All right. C, D, and E are going to swarm Usarker. And all three of them are going to take attacks on you. All right. All right. Let's see what they got. They all have advantage because it's pack tactic. Yep. So <gasps> does a 19 hit? It does. Okay. So they have daggers out. That's five points of damage from the first one. Uh, that That's definitely going to hit. 22. Uh, six points of damage. And did you, did you, you said a 19 hit? Yeah. Okay. Four points of damage. Wow. 15 points of damage. Ow. All right. How much health do you have? Oh, I'm down. Ah! Uh. All right, Usarker is down. Uh-oh. Ah! Okay. <laughs> Celestine. Yeah, dog pile ah, tied up to I finally got my foot free. <laughs> you see, <laughs> yeah. You see these three kobolds lunge at Usarker and he drops. What do you do? Okay, um, I'm buried gonna, under a pile of them. Yeah, I'm going to uh, charge in and take uh, swing at one of the kobolds. None of them have been injured, so it probably doesn't really matter which one. Yep. I'll go ahead and swing. Okay. It's like bowling for buzzards, but bowling for That would be a 17. <laughs> that hits. 11 damage. How do you want to do it? Um, This one, I just... It's like almost like golfing because they're all on the ground, and mm -hmm. I swing, and he goes, woo! <laughs> Off into the... He flies about 20 feet, and he just... And he's ah, dead. Yes. So... Um, I'm going to actually take a bonus action and invoke War Priest. Okay. Which is when you use an attack action, you can make one weapon attack as a bonus action. Nice. Mm. So I've already used this, I believe, last session, so this is the last one I can do tonight. Okay. That would be a 24. That hits. <laughs> that is 13. How do you want to kill it? twice over plus and it three. comes and swings back the other way and off it goes to the other side of the road <laughs> it also goes <laughs> and it dies yeah <laughs> so now there's one left on top of usarker there is one left on top of usarker and there is also there are still two cultists left so yeah. one cobalt I, i've and two engaged cultists. with the cultists though huh I, i've engaged with the you cultists. are engaged with the cultists yes isidore your turn all right i see lord pride has fallen and I kind of freak out because I don't have anything to I can do to help him. <laughs> um, but I also see two cultists uh, fighting against my childhood friend, Kurt. So I'm going to shoot at the cultists. All right. Because there's nothing it. else I can do. Um, are you going for the one with the scimitar stuck in the, the thing? Or are you going to go for the one that's just standing there? It doesn't matter because I rolled a one. Oh, no. <laughs> no. Oh, no. <laughs> I'm raging, so how I've got... Do you, how does this natural one play out? Uh, so, because I'm freaking out, I kind of, like, am stumbling over trying to place the arrow in uh, my my bow string, and it just kind of fumbles out of my hand, and just, I don't even get a chance to release it. It just... Oh, no. <laughs> fumbles out. <laughs> Fumble! <laughs> All right, Usurker, go ahead and make a death save, please. That is a four. Oh no! I, I hear some death gurgles coming down from down there. Okay. <laughs> yeah. This Blood's starting to come out of his mouth a little bit. This uh, cobalt had better run because I need to uh, save Kurt. Or sorry, not no, Kurt. Kurt's no, fine. I'm over here. Kurt's fine. <laughs> um, Kurt, maybe Usarker. fine. He's at how many health right now? Uh, yeah, how you is know, that? You guys just met. It's okay that you're mixing up each other's he's names. He's nice and tough. I know, that's you know, true. When he's raging, he's like, you know, old leather. Yeah. 
That's a lovely description. <laughs> Everyone <laughs> wants to be described that way. He's the one taking he, he half looks damage. Like he's not a pretty fellow. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> All right, Leanne is going to continue running with her chillins, and so will Kuth. Next up, it is the cultist turn. The one who does not have the scimitar in the uh, side of the house. He is going to take a swipe at Kurt. So the one that has the scimitar stuck in the house, he's going to take his action to remove the scimitar. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> All right, that's a natural one. Okay. So okay. he, How they again, sees a cat on your leg, and he's like, what the heck? And also manages to get his scimitar stuck in the side <laughs> of the house. Yes! There, there must be, like, an overhanging sign or something like that as they, like, swing overhead to, like, thunk, thunk. <laughs> yeah. The, the problem is that it's a blue dragon and it flew by previously and magnetized uh, with all that light. <laughs> oh, yeah. It, it's, it's not that it's getting stuck in there. It's that it's getting magnetic attracted. <laughs> yep. All right, Cultist B. Second one is going to remove his scimitar out of there. I'll I'll see if he can get it out. <laughs> nope, it is stuck. He also rolled a natural one. Oh, wow. <laughs> so it is stuck, and he's he's got his foot up. He's like, ah, ah, I gotta get it out. I gotta get out. They're gonna kill me. They're gonna kill me. Ah! All right. Next up, it is now Kurt. Okay. Um, I want to. Um. I want to knock down one of these guys. Okay. Um. While they're unarmed. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and uh, to go ahead and um, like bash one of them down with my shield. Um, so. 17 to hit. That hits. Um, and then. Um, that's going to be seven. Seven damage. All right. So smacked with my shield. They, that, the one that you smacked looks extremely hurt. Quunk. Extremely hurt. Anything else? He's deeply offended that he would smack him like that. <laughs> <laughs> um, is, is a shield an improvised weapon that I could try grappling him? Uh, sh you'd have to have shield master, I believe. Okay. There's a specific feat for that. Is a cat an improvised weapon? <laughs> wait, wait, wait. So there, there is no ability that lets you use a shield as a weapon. And so if you wanted There's to... There's one to shove. If you wanted, I essentially did it as an unarmed strike. But it if is. you wanted to use a shield as a weapon, it would be considered improvised. Yeah. Shield Master lets you spend a bonus action to, to push and shove your opponent, and it does not allow you to do damage with it, though. Okay, well, let me, take this let, let, me, let me back it up and make it easier. Yes, you can use your shield as an improvised weapon. All right, if you would like to do that. Okay, well, I, so I hit him with my shield. Okay. Uh, let go of my axe for a moment and grab his face. Mm -hmm. um, or, or grab his, his clothes. Um, and do, so I'm going to attempt to grapple him. Okay. Um, is that, but can you grapple as a bonus action? I do, because I'm a tavern brawler. That's right. All right. Go for it. <laughs> so that's why I get to do this. Um, and I believe that I, I have advantage on this because I'm raging. Right. So to grapple, it's it's an opposed, right? It is. Okay. Athletics or acrobatics? I've got a plus seven to athletics. Um, how about 19 plus seven? Nice. <laughs> you have successfully grappled this guy. Okay. Go, Kurt, You're mine. Go. Um, so I, that, that's as much as I can do pretty much on my turn. But it's, uh, I'm going to go ahead and ask him, like, what are you doing here? Um, All right. That, that's, I know that's more than one syllable that I, did, I, I suggested last time. But, like, there's a lot of rage why going on. Why here? <laughs> yeah. Why here? <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. So the last kobold uh, just saw two of his uh, companions uh, be turned into basically golf balls mm -hmm. by a giant hammer and yep. he is going to run oh good celestine you can take of an, an act an attack of opportunity yeah let's do that and kurt i think you'd probably be a little too far away for this yeah well i have a handful of cultists too it's true net 20 she did it again it. <laughs> she did it again what's the lowest that you by can the look of Kayla's face. uh <laughs> with a net oh uh, with net 20 eight it's dead. Okay. <laughs> How do you want to do this? Um, 
So I would really hate to do a downward swing on him because then I'd be like driving him into Usarker. Mm -hmm. So we'll just do a similar <laughs> method and swing him off to the right with the first cobalt Here, that I let did. let me help you run away. Golf. I know exactly, yeah, that's it. I help him in whatever direction he was going. He goes, whoosh. All right, so you I help him, he- Okay. You help him, he hits a wall and dies. Okay. <laughs> All He's right. no longer here, so I mean, did I, I kind of help. You did, you did. <laughs> All right, you Celestine, it is things? actually your turn now. Um, So I'm going to put You my... have a very hurt cultist near you, and We're... you have a not hurt cultist, but is still trying to get his scimitar out of the side. You, you have a very thing. hurt I'm gonna, man you. underneath you as well. I'm going to help the uh, death-gurgling Usarker on the ground, okay. who I've now managed to free. Um. So Celestine is a war cleric, so um, all of her spells have to do with um, fighting. <laughs> but she is trained in medicine, so I am going to stop okay. the bleeding. We need okay. to stock up on potions Stabilize or something. Stabilize him. <laughs> uh, the, hold on, I think is, yeah, we, we check to make we're sure a party DC not is. ready to heal okay. ourselves. <laughs> I'm gonna roll to make sure I don't get a one. But we are exceptionally violent. We are. Okay. So I think instead I make of it. healing, we'll just kill Corrin, I think I make it. <laughs> What did you roll? 23. Yeah, yeah, you make it. I think okay. the DC is like 10. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah, on stabilizing, I'm pretty sure it's 10. Yeah, I think it's 10. Okay. You, you make it just fine. Okay, so I've put down my hammer on the ground next to Sarker. I pulled bandages out of my field kit. Mm -hmm. And because you do, see, it's war, you see a lot of wounds, a lot of mortal, almost mortal wounds. Mm -hmm. um, and so you have to be prepared, even if you don't have spells. Like this one. So, <laughs> we're just going to take bandages and start bandaging him up until he stops making death gurgles and okay. starts maybe breathing a little bit better. So, Usarker, on your turn, you will be stabilized. Excellent. All right. Aw, oh, man, do we have to carry you? Because you're not going to be awake yeah, yet, right? Yeah, not going to be conscious. Well, he's just not going to I be... may or may not be conscious, but I can't walk. No. Uh, Stabilize yeah. means you're at zero, so you're unconscious. Yeah. So, oh. uh... Yep. You know, but, but that pre pre prevents you from doing monologuing. death speeches and monologuing. <laughs> monologuing. Can't do monologues. You are more than welcome to do that in your unconscious state to yourself. <laughs> <laughs> but Hamlet. Ham oh, no. Next time. Are Next you going to have a deathbed aria? Are you comparing yourself to Hamlet? Well, I mean, it's Hamlet's uncle who does the long speeches and dies, too. I mean, oh, that's true. Lots of people do them. Yeah, very much so. All right, Isidore, we are now at the top of round three. It is your turn. There is uh, one cultist in Kurt's hands and one still trying to get a scimitar out. I'm going for the cultist that is still trying to get a scimitar out. I'm going to aim for my, uh, with my bow and arrow. Some information here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, also, I'm going to pick up the arrow that I dropped previously. Okay. <laughs> and I, I feel a little bit more calm now because it looks like Celestina's gotten... Uh, things yeah. under control with Lord Pride, so I pick up the arrow and I quickly uh, set my sights on this uh, struggling cultist trying to re uh, remove the scimitar from wherever it got lodged. Hey. That is a 16 to hit. That hits. Also, I realized that I was rolling the wrong damage dice for my bow. That mm -hmm. was a d6. It's actually a d8. Oh, mm -hmm. okay. So, fun facts there. Uh, that is nine points of damage. Nice. How do you want to kill this scimitarless cultist? I don't care. I just shoot at him. <laughs> okay. <laughs> cool. Usarker, you are now stabilized. You are still unconscious, unfortunately. Uh, Lena and her husband are going to continue running down the way. They've gotten a little ways away. They're yeah. probably about 60 feet away from us by now since three rounds. Yeah, well, they're, this, they're about, I guess it depends on how far behind us they were when we started combat. They're about 70 feet. Okay. okay. The, yeah, oh, that's right. They're being 40 per round because they're dashing. Yeah, yeah. 30 yeah. per round because they were dashing, but they were behind you. Right, right. So they're about 70 feet away from you now. Okay. okay. Yeah, we need to... Kurt, hurry up. We got to catch up with them. <laughs> All right. Okay. So this uh, cultist who is stuck in your grasp is going to attempt I, to get out no, of it. No, I shouted a question at him. Yes. Why here? Why here? <laughs> So does he respond at all is my question. He does not. Okay. And he's going to attempt to get out of the grapple. So I, I believe this is opposed again. Okay. Mm -hmm. I've still got advantage on this. As long as you roll <laughs> higher than a one, you're fine. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, I, I did roll a one at one of them. Uh, good thing I've got an advantage. Uh, oh. 13 plus 7, so I have 20. <laughs> he rolled a two. <laughs> no, <laughs> no. So, all right, he, he's struggling. Like, ah, uh, 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 let me go. And he doesn't get anywhere. Okay. Uh, okay, that is the only cultist who is alive. So, mm-hmm. Kurt, it is now your turn. I'm going to hit him okay. um, to keep my rage up. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's a good idea. Is he going to be your punching bag? You're just going to carry might... him along oh, with you and no, punch and him for the cat. Him. Punch him for non-lethal damage every time you need to keep your rage no, going. No one will accuse him of animal cruelty if he's punching a cultist instead of a cat. Okay, um, so I'm going to stow my shield and punch the cultist. Ten. So, it's a miss. That is a miss. That's okay. I attacked him, so I still have my rage. Um, That's fine. And I want to. Um, I'm gonna, you know, ask him again. Like, why are you? Why are you here? Um, because like. Maybe you I mean, should they're, ask they're him. Fighting. Where Jaden? <laughs> <laughs> that might, yeah, that might, that yeah, might be that, That's probably the, the next thing. You know, Where, Jaden? <laughs> Not that they're gonna know, but you know. Hey, you never know. He might. He might. That's it. All right. Everybody else is dead. Celestine, it is now your turn. Um, you guys look like you got the cultist in hand, right? Yeah. Go, go catch up. Just the one cultist. So I'm gonna pick up Usarker. Okay. Mm-hmm. Oh gosh, here we go. Usarker, his scythe. And my hammer. <laughs> my hands You've are got full. This. You've got muscles to spare. <laughs> it's true. I've got What's a your pretty good strength. I have an 18 in strength. Yeah, you, you can totally. Yep. So I'm going to dash after Linan. Sorry. Okay. And yeah, that, that's about it. So we'll just gonna do that and keep going. All right, cool. Top of the round, Isidore. All right, can I get this cultist without hurting Kurt? Uh... I would say, you know what? Never mind. Yeah, I'm I would going, say this is three quarter cover. I'm, I'm going to uh, drop my longbow okay. and grab my scimitars, run up and try and stab him as he's being held. Okay. Okay. Never mind. That's like a ten. So. Oh, you just barely um, missed. Offhand attack. Okay. Go ahead. All right. That's much better. That's an, a total of twenty. Uh, yeah. Don't roll. Okay. He's dead. Cool. <laughs> How do you want I to just... do this? Uh, Pierce is, uh, the gut of his stomach, and I'm like, Kurt, let's go! And then I use the rest of my movement to start running back after Lenan and Kuth. Okay, and the kids. so as you are running, you actually, down the, the alleyway, you see three townspeople. Oh, man. They're, they're cowering, and they're like, is, oh. it, is it safe to come out? Yes, come with us! We're going to the keep! Move fast. Remember, Kurt, keep! <laughs> Uh, uh, keep, keep. <laughs> do you need so me to I keep like the cultist in my hand? Do you um, need me to like punch oh, you no. every once in a while to keep your rage up? <laughs> <laughs> he, he has a cultist. He can. It, it will suffice. He can. I don't can, think that, I killed the cultist. It, the cultist is dead. Is it dead now? Yeah, yeah. I killed oh, it. Okay, if you killed it, does it have to be a live creature you attack, or do you just have to make an attack roll? It just says make an attack. I don't think that I don't think that works. <laughs> Technically, you should you have done non-lethal damage. Keep up your rage, but it's gonna disappear after a minute. You should have done non-lethal damage to him. Just knock him out. It nope. hurt. It was hurt. Did. I did it. I was trying to get information oh. out of this guy. Yep. <laughs> he was just gonna continue holding this cultist. We had to go. <laughs> yeah, right. he so, probably would have been there for a while with the cultist. So, as you guys are running, <laughs> yes. uh, you've got three more townspeople with you. Yep. Uh, and you actually hear Linan go, no, no, get back, get back. Ah, crap. And you see... You're about to get dumped, sorry. <laughs> you end up seeing five more kobolds, a mm-hmm. wing kobold, and one cultist. Ah, and you geez. are going after her and also four other townspeople. She managed to reach them. But at the same time, they were also being harassed by these. Okay. these All right. I have my longbow again because I definitely grabbed that before we started running again. Um, All right. Go ahead and roll for a new initiative just because I clicked out of my other encounter tracker. Yeah, so, I'll do. Izzy. Okay with that. Much better. 12 again. Uh, okay. Celestine. 13. 
Okay. Usarker. Uh, yeah. I have a natural one. Okay. Oh, good. <laughs> For a total of? Uh, two. <laughs> and you can breathe on your turn. Yeah, Kurt? Uh, I actually did better this time. I got 15. Nice. Finally. Awesome. And it hasn't been a minute yet, so his rage is still up. His baby. rage is yeah, still so up. Yeah, so this is the, it's still essentially the next round. Um, yeah. Yeah, it would be the next round. All right, so. I mean, you can attempt to attack me, and I can just dodge it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so Lena and Kuth are going to take the I punch walls before I punch you. That's true. So Lena and Kuth actually ended up rolling nineteens. Oh, nice! So nice. they get to go first. So they are get going away. to disengage. Good. But they can only run fifteen feet away. Yeah. All right. Next up, Kurt. Okay. Um, hand axe at, into the cultists. The okay. one cultist. Go oh, for it. Th- I thought there were more. Only one cultist, five kobolds, and another They're flying, flying kobold. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on, hold on. I lied. There are four, four cultists. Yeah, I thought I had. Yeah, there were four cultists. Yeah. There was, there I were, heard you are, say there were four townspeople. There are four townspeople. So there are five kobolds, one winged kobold, and four cultists. And four okay. townspeople. And four townspeople. Holy heavens. So how Good far luck. have we made it this time? Yeah, thanks, you uh, You have. So you're lying. You have <laughs> just made it. So if street. you're looking at the map. <laughs> mm-hmm. You guys have made it. We're probably about halfway. You are just about to get to the second intersection, which is the intersection that heads east towards the peak. Okay, so if if people can get past them, then we can start backing up, and we don't have to defeat them, per se. Theoretically. Maybe. Kind of just keep them at bay so the townspeople can... Continue can running, run. and then yeah. we just defend their their flank. Mm-hmm. Although I believe the plan was to clear this route so that people could get to the keep safely, and you can't do that if a mob of you also and kobolds are still you there. also can't do that if the heroes are down. So, just saying, it's the sacrifice of being a hero. You get stabbed by kobolds. <laughs> mm. Is that a saying? Mm. All right, so Kurt, what are you doing? So I threw axe, my right? my um, hand axe. Um, at one of the cultists, because there are four of them. Oh, that was a natural one. No! I am cursed tonight. That's oh, like the third one. That, that is I've a rolled. lot, yeah. Oh. There's been so a is lot it still of in your hand, or did you throw it? I threw it. PK. So the, the hand axe... It's gone. It's just out. It's it gone. Lost into the night. You, you flew it. It's, it's up on a roof somewhere, yeah. unfortunately. No recovery. Remove that from no. the inventory. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> All right. Next up, it is the winged kobold. And it is going to attempt to grab something out of one of the townspeople's pe- hands. Mm. Something shiny. As long as it's not a child. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so it attempts it attempts to grab it, and it manages to grab a hold of it, but the townsperson manages to, to smack it in the face, and it lets go, and it kind of moves back just a little bit. Because it's like, ow, 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 what what the heck, man? <laughs> All right, Celestine, it is your turn. Okay. Um, I am going to place Susarker down on the ground with his uh, morse scythe. <laughs> just yeah. drop him. Yeah, just drop him. <laughs> and then carefully place the scythe down because you don't just drop bladed weapons. You drop people, not scythes. Yeah, exactly. People yep. heal weapons They're fine. Don't. <laughs> um, and I am. If I'm close enough, I could do an attack. I'm going to go after the cultist. Okay. Which uh, cultist number one? Yeah. Okay. Go ahead. That is a 20 is. something. 25. <laughs> That's eight damage. Oh, this guy is on death's door. Ah, so close. So close. So close. Is there anything else you would like to do? Yeah, I'm trying to think if I should switch out weapons for one with reach. But we'll probably... I did an action and I moved. I don't know how close I'm to Sarker anymore. There's a lovely scythe sitting right there. <laughs> I know, I know. I'll think about it. It has reach. <laughs> it does. How much is the damage on that thing? 1D10. A mere 1d10. 1d10, okay. Is it plus strength? Oh, yeah. Yeah, 1d10 plus strength. Uh, is that the end? Yep, that's turn? it. Awesome. Izzy! All right, I'm going to take out my longbow again and shoot at one of the cultists. Okay, because the one that's hurt or one of the other three? One of the other three. Okay. Uh, that's a 10. 
Ah, uh, it just barely misses. Sorry. Keep rolling fours. What the heck? Aww. Yeah. Our, our table's not doing well. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> All right, so the Kobolds... There's some good juju going over on that side. I oh, don't know. My teammate's <laughs> down. Oh, that's, oh, that's true. That's <laughs> so the Kobolds... Maybe that bounces out. Yeah. <laughs> so the Kobolds don't actually... They're so focused on these other townspeople that they actually don't notice that you guys are attacking them uh, or the cultists because the cultists are kind of behind them. Mm -hmm. So they are going to attempt to grab things out of townspeople's hands. Uh, so one kobold manages to rip a golden statue of a duck out of one of the townspeople's <laughs> hands. I'm sure there's a story of why we're, why should... This they've got a bunch of you know, gold stuff. Yes. Well, the other thing looked like gold. You weren't entirely sure what it was, though. True. That's probably there all, there like, is a reason they were targeted. Plated. Yeah. <laughs> uh, okay, the second kobold attempts to grab at that same blanket that the wing kobold tried to get. D doesn't grab it. Uh, the third one. They really want this thing. The third one managed to grab, manages to grab onto a lady's uh, necklace and pull it off of her neck. <gasps> That's bad. Uh, the next one <laughs> attempts to do the same and fails. And the fifth one uh, also goes for somebody's wrist and manages to rip off a bracelet. <gasps> How dare they? Uh, unfortunately, Jewelry Sarker, you're sacred, still at zero. You know? I'm amazed that they haven't targeted you yet, actually. I know, Come right? to think yeah. about it, I'm, all, I'm all amazed. All of my jewelry around She's my waist. Jingle shop. They think I'm one of them for some reason? I don't oh, know. Maybe it's because you have so much. They can't possibly fathom the fact that you might be a regular Well, I think it's person. because you guys just keep killing them. <laughs> that's it. That's I, mean, I think that's the problem. <laughs> they so, don't know true, about me because We haven't passed them. on the information. <laughs> yeah. All right, so cultist, the first cultist is now his turn. He looks severely wounded, and he is actually going to disengage and run away. Uh, cultist number two is going to try and hit Kurt, because you just got, got there, right? Yeah. Okay, so he's going to try and hit you. And he has a scimitar. I do have my shield out. Okay. Uh, that is a natural 20. Oh, okay. Yeah. Unfortunate. But I've got resistance. Hmm. That's good. Oh, oh no. Uh, oh, oh no. 13 points of damage. Halved. Yeah. Divided uh, by, ooh, ha ooh, that's halved. Ooh. So that is six. six. Well, you're well, down. Got, yeah, I'm down. I go down. <gasps> no! No! Okay. <gasps> um, It's gonna take me a second to get to you, Kurt. Number three is going to attempt to go for Izzy. Mm. He has to run up to me, because I'm, I'm still not. Yeah, that's true. He has to run up to you. Okay. Does he run past uh, me? Does a 19 hit you? Ooh. Okay. Yes, a 19 does hit me. Does he pass by me on the way three to get points to Izzy? Of damage. He does pass you. Can I get nail? You can. He does three points of damage to you if she doesn't take him out. Ah, <laughs> uh, eight. Okay. That, no, she okay. does not take him out. I don't take him out. I take three points of damage. You take three points like a of damage. Because I took my second wind earlier. Thank goodness yeah, you did. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, number otherwise four, I would be down now too. <laughs> number four is going to say... Hey, you, you, all of you kobolds, get them. And he's going to run away. Mm. Do we have, so, okay, how many kobolds? So we have all the kobolds still. How many cultists do we have? You now have, okay, so he's. I think there's one more. You have two. Two, okay. Because the other two ran. Because the one with or low whatever. health ran. Yep. Second one attacked Hurt and downed him. And the third one attacked you. The third one attacked me, and the and fourth, fourth one ran to the kobolds to attack us and ran away. Yep. Yeah. Okay. All right. Next up, uh, Linan. She is going to push through the people and just continue running. And she's like, "Come on, we got to get to the keep. We got to get to the keep. Everybody, follow me." Uh, Kurt, go ahead and make a death save. Yay! I don't want to hear death gurgles over there. Okay, that's a ten. Oh, yeah, that's a success. Just, no death gurgles. Success on you. Okay. The winged kobold is going to, uh, he actually is going to throw a dagger at Izzy. Izzy. Cool. So unfortunately, he gets into position where he gets pack tactics. Mm. Uh, I don't like those pack tactics. Come join us. 15? Does a 15 hit you? Ground. Yes. <laughs> okay. Oh, boy. Don't worry, they haven't even hit Celestine yet. Yeah. Five points of damage. Okay. What are you at? Five now. 
Okay. Celestine, it is your turn. The swing kobold just right. went down and hit Izzy, and she's looking a little rough. Okay, we're going to grab the scythe. I'm going to drop my hammer. Um, What? The wing so. kobold is in range. He was not able to get out of range. Okay. You also Swat. have all the other kobolds around you if you want to hit them. Okay. And you also have two kobolds. Who's been hitting the worst, I guess, so far? Are they all pretty even? Yeah. I haven't been paying attention to the damage numbers. Uh, well, none numbers. of the kobolds have attacked except for that winged one. Mm-hmm. And cultist B is the one who crit on Kurt. Mm-hmm. Okay, Kurt's down, so I'm going to go... We'll go for the flying kobold because he's going to be an annoyance if we don't get rid of him. Okay. So, you said it was a d10? It is. If I hit. That is 13. That hits, exactly. Okay. Woo. Um, nice, nice, nice. Okay. That would be an 11. How do you want to do this? <laughs> Yes. Um, we're we're gonna be a simple decapitating with the scythe and call it good. All right, head flies off. Cool. And Gross. then <laughs> that's all I can do. All um, right. I'm trying to think. I don't think there's any point to moving. If yeah. you moved, you would take attacks. Yeah. Okay. You then we'll stay. That's true. Okay. All right. Is that it? Um. Look scary and war cry. Try okay. to see if I can scare him off without doing an actual action. <laughs> All right. Izzy, Celestine screams at the wing kobold and the rest of the kobolds around you guys. It's a little inspiring. You don't really get an inspiration, but it's inspiring. Yeah. <laughs> Does it scare the kobolds? You feel warm kobolds? and fuzzy inside. No. <laughs> okay. Uh, they haven't seen the, the death upon the rest of the kobolds, so they don't know how bad this is about to get. <laughs> I'm sure. That must be it. Leave now, or we'll kill you all just like I killed the rest of your brothers and sisters. All right, go ahead and do an intimidation check. <laughs> Again. <laughs> that flew halfway across the room. <laughs> yeah, just... uh, that's a 16 on intimidation. All right, A, B, uh, number one, two, and three your A, B, and C. Uh, look intimidated. D and E do not. Okay. Cool. Um, so that was my action. Uh, <laughs> do you have anything you can do a bonus action with? No, not really. Um, I mean, I could do an offhand attack, but you none have to, of them are you have to do melee attack. attack for that. Oh, that's right. Nah, never mind. Um, yeah, no, that's it. Okay. All right. So A, B, and C are stepping back. And they are going to run. They're like, eh, we didn't sign up for this. Let's go. Let's go find some more people we could steal stuff from. And they, all three of them are running away. So Celestine and Izzy, you can take some tax of opportunity on them. Cool. I'm going to. Um, trying to think if there's, a, so that Wait, would. Can I? You Am are I holding your. Am I within melee your... of them? Mm -hmm. Okay. Then in that case, that's a 14 to hit. That hits. Uh, That is 10 points of damage. You kill one of them twice over. Cool. 22. You also hit? Seven. Okay. You also kill one. So one gets hey. away. And he's just running away. And he's now super terrified. Oh, good. Also, so did this not scare the, the two cultists the who were there too? I'm going to roll for them. Okay. So this will be for the... Uh, Cobalt D, and this will be cultist the purple B. one. Cobalt. You you have two cultists and two cobalts. Uh, yeah, I you already said who, which of the cobalts were frightened, but you didn't there say there were five cobalts. Three of them ran. Two are still there. Yes, you said that D and E did not get affected. I'm asking about the cultists who are still there. Oh, got it. So, well, first let me check the cobalts because it's their turn. Okay. So morale check or something. So yeah. So C stands his ground. He's like, you killed my brother. And I told you we would. <laughs> How dare you? That's why you started running. <laughs> and the other one, D is going to run as well. He okay. gets freaked out. But C is going to take an attack on Celestine because you're the one who killed his brother. Okay. Um, Aren't they all brothers? 
I don't, don't, don't know. know. Don't assume their familial relation. I just get the they're feeling all kobolds 21. doesn't mean they're yes, all related. Hits. Just because right. I keep saying you killed my brother. Even in the, even in the last episode. It could be brothers you in arms. Two brother. points of damage. Yeah. Maybe they uh, okay. go so brotherly band. Heavy Do armor master. This is bludgeoning, piercing, or slashing. This would be... From a non-magical weapon? This would be piercing from non-magical. Yes. Sweet. Okay. Um, I can reduce that by three. Is that right? Yes. All right. So you... I take none. Takes nothing. Woo! Nice. Okay. Heavy armor. Berserker, unfortunately, you're breathing. What are you doing while you're unconscious? What's happening? What are What's you going on with about? you? Are you composing your aria? I, 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 I am pondering upon the vicissitudes of fate. I had such high hopes that I would be able to root out this cult, make a name for myself, perhaps, win some glory for the family name, but no, felled by kobolds before anyone had a chance to have heard of it. Yep, basically. You do feel pain. So at this moment, you start feeling pain. So you think you're still alive. Well, yes, you do usually feel pain before you die. And <laughs> you seem to start to be coming back from unconscious. So you don't seem to be going towards the light. You're coming <laughs> back to a different type of light. It's a very dingy It's a very dingy light. I look forward to... Um, Bed and rest for the next three or so months as I recover oh, from you know, vicious wounds. <laughs> Good to know. Please, Ain't nobody got time for that. Please tell <laughs> Celestine this when you wake up. <laughs> okay. She will have zero sympathy for you. <laughs> All right. So one of the cultists is going to attack Izzy. Mm. And one is going to attack Celestine. So and neither of them were intimidated by me? Oh, sorry. You're correct. I'll keep our DM uh, in check. One was. The other one was not. Okay. Okay. So, so one is going to disengage and run away. Okay. Did you have one or did I have one? So the one that was on Izzy disengages and run away because he's fearful. Nice. Of okay. The other one nice. is going to go after you, Celestine. Okay. With cool. his scimitar. That was a good intimidation roll. Yes. Why Unfortunately, one of them rolled a natural 20 on on saving against it. Oh. I've actually rolled like four natural 20s tonight, and this is like wow. the wow. best I've ever rolled in my ever, ever wonderful life. <laughs> so In your D&D &D career. <laughs> yeah, usually like, yeah. Uh, usually I get like 10 and below. So <laughs> does a 13 hit you? Nope. All right, so he goes to swing a scimitar, and it clang right off of your shield. Heavy armor. <laughs> yep. Do you, wait, do you have a shield? No. Uh, he Just clangs right armor. off your armor. All right. Technically, I do have a shield, but it's not. I'm not using it. Okay. So, so it just clings off your armor. Yep. Linan uh, managed to rally the rest of the townspeople, and they are all booking it towards the keep. Okay, good. Go, Linan. Uh, Kurt, you need another death, death saving throw. Oh, Izzy, you uh, might need. Do you get to help Kurt it's while I take care of this one? Okay. Actually, how is your medicine? I got a 10 again. Oh, All right, we've got two word. successes. <laughs> Just scraping by. Okay. Um, Celestine, it is now your turn. I have a plus zero to medicine. <laughs> well, okay. So we're just going to... I mean, currently you... I don't think you'll do any harm if you try. It's true. You, you say that. Uh, no. Well, until she tries to give you, you know, chest and, compression. And until I roll a one. Yeah, <laughs> it's the one oh. that to be afraid of. So currently you Attack. have one kobold on uh, Celestine. Dang it, I rolled an eight against the cultist. Oh, and you also have one cultist on ya. Yep. I All missed. right, so that misses, unfortunately. Izzy, it is now your turn. All right. Um, Celestine, you told me to go check on Kurt? Yep. Okay, so I guess I'm going to run to Kurt and attempt to uh, check on him to see if there's anything I can do to... Uh, Address his wounds or whatever. Kurt, are you okay? <laughs> okay. <laughs> wait, wait. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> that is the sound of arteries. Oh no, oh, listeners. Oh jeez. Uh, so Izzy, go ahead and make a medicine check. It's a DC ten to stabilize him. Okay. Oh, that's a six. <laughs> All right. So you you uh, you just failed to make. Yeah, I think it's just yeah. failed. You're like ah. 
and uh, <laughs> you're, you grab a shirt and just like put it up against his neck. Right. I mean, that works. But that's about all you know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, so Cobald. The last Cobald. Okay, so seeing the situation, and even though he is angry at everything, he is actually going to run away from Izzy. Izzy, you can take an attack of opportunity. If you I want. no, do. sorry, Th this cobalt's oh. on Celestine. Oh, yeah, yeah. Right. Celestine, you can make an attack of opportunity if you so desire. Uh, yeah. let's do that. Go to help. That you is a nine. Oh. That misses. He okay. manages to skitter away, and he's like, "I will avenge my brother." <laughs> oh no. We're gonna encounter that cobalt later. <laughs> He'll be a recurring character. You killed character. my brother. Prepare to die. Oh, no. <laughs> he'll, be, he'll be like the recurring character that always harasses the main party. And uh, yeah, I can't think of examples right now, but I think That's of, okay. yeah, That's anyway. <laughs> All right. So the cultist is going to also take a swing at you, Celestine. Okay. Uh, that is a natural 18. Yep, he hits. Okay. Oh, four dice. I just threw that right on the floor. You take five points of damage. Okay, so that turns to two. Okay. Two You've taken an injury? I I have. What? Whoa. <laughs> is that the first one? Yes. <laughs> yes, it is. Okay, we are at the top of round four. Uh, Lean Ann and group, Lean Ann and co, booking it still. Uh, Kurt, roll a death save. Okay. Initiative than I had. I got a natural twenty. Oh my god! All right, oh. you managed. You managed to oh wake up. <gasps> Does this mean he gets a single hit point? You have one hit point left. Cool, I can get up. Oh good. This way I can pick up Ustarker. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say I'm not sure Izzy could have carried you. No. <laughs> and Celestine is. How many pounds of muscle? A uh, lot. <laughs> yeah, I don't. I don't know if. Is he's like a hundred and pound, a hundred pounds? I'm not sure. If I could have <laughs> feasibly carried both of them. Like my score says, I probably could, but logic, I really, I'm well, you having drag issues. You would have to. You, you drag would, them. You would oh, have. Okay. Yeah, you'd have to either drag them or have like one fireman carry and then drag the other. Actually, there, that's true. Or you'd have to get one of those Kayla. special harnesses, like for twins. Kayla, have you seen the picture of the Russian lady who's got a log on her shoulder? Yes. Are you saying that's Celestine? I'll, I'll bet the two of us are not as heavy as that log. Fair <laughs> point. I now, think I it's just the limbs are the question, problem. Corin. Okay. Where is Whiskers? Whiskers. <laughs> firmly attached. Is uh, he, uh, well, she. Whiskers a girl. She, yeah. Uh, Whiskers sees you go down. Feels you go down, and <laughs> in <laughs> a <laughs> and in a very strange way, Whiskers looked a little upset that you went down. So Whiskers is kind of has kind of patted itself up to you, and it so starts licking your cheek. I, I feel like that Whiskers is the first thing that I see as I come back. Yep, you see this like cat. With like whiskers, you saved me. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and Izzy's just holding something down against his neck. <laughs> he doesn't even see oh, Izzy. Izzy there. Oh, yeah. Um. Meow. <laughs> but, Kurt, th thanks. we have to go. Yeah, Are let's you feeling go. Okay. I I scoop up the cat. Okay. I help I help uh, lift you up to your feet. Um, All right. I, so I can at least do that. Maybe you kind of pull me down. <laughs> yeah. I, I I get up. Um and. Uh, I want to go over to Usarker, um to try and. Yeah, I don't think that I'd be able to pick you up in this round or something. No, but that, you won't. That, that's my intention. I have to go and pick you up. Are we still in combat? You are. There's still have one, one more. here. Oh, okay. One okay. more. Celestine, it is now your turn. I I'm here going we to go. Guard, I guess. Hmm? I'm going to play guard. 23. Oh. That hits. <laughs> That is max damage of 14. How would you like to kill the last remaining cultist? Um, I'm sitting here trying to think. Is like, is there a non-gory way of explaining how you scythe someone to death? I'm like, no, not really. <laughs> you scythe them. Not really. You scythe them to, you death. Scythe them you to scythe death them is about death. all yeah, you can you do. Yeah, okay. we'll just go with that. Scythe them to death. <laughs> he falls. Okay. <laughs> and that is the end of combat. The townsfolk that you have found 
uh, along your way are now heading towards the keep. You can, you see the keep right in the distance. I mean, it's a straight shot. Usarker is still unconscious, but you you hear him like moaning. So you you know he's gonna be oh. okay. Mm -hmm. Um, snip Kurt, words. you are at one hit point. Small poetry. Yeah. <laughs> um, I want to pick up um, Mr. Rucker, um, and you know, firemen carry him. Okay. Um, so cat under one arm, uh, man over the shoulder. Okay. Um, and you know, follow, following Celis. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. we're running. All yeah, right. I have my it? war mall strapped to my back, and I'm using Usarker's uh, scythe as we run. Okay. You're not going to search for more people to rescue? I mean, you've if I been stumble upon them, I have to protect the people <laughs> that I found. <laughs> you don't get to contribute into this. <laughs> <laughs> you, you you could escort them you know, to the keep and I'm turn around and you. <laughs> rush back into the fire to save more people. We will think of it, about it. When we get to that point, we have we're, to get to that point. We're only human, mm -hmm. except me. But yes, <laughs> exactly. exactly. King. That's true. You're yeah. the weird one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. So as you guys are booking it, uh, you do see other small groups of you know kobolds. These these weird tiny dragon things that are going up and down the sides of these. Um, you say tiny dragon, like comparison for us. Are they like dog size? Yeah, or are they horse uh, size? They, size? They would be elephant sized. No, they would be. I would say they'd be about the same size as maybe a Newfoundland or like a German Shepherd. Okay. Ooh, okay. Yeah, that's pretty good size. It's yeah. a big dog. Yeah, big dog. They're bigger yeah. than the kobolds. Okay. Okay, got At least it. They're, they're heavier than the kobolds. Yeah. Are they still small sized? Yeah. No uh, yeah. Not like medium size. Are they small size? They're small. Okay. okay. They're probably on that cusp. Mm -hmm. So as as you guys are running, you see that there is a um, there are cultists that are surrounding this keep. Mm -hmm. Um, but it doesn't look like they're very well organized, and they seem to be like uh, shoot trying to shoot arrows over. But mm -hmm. like a lot of them don't really look like they know what they're doing. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh my um, word. Lean in and. Co. Mm -hmm. They managed to get into the keep. They're a little bit at, they're a little bit further ahead of you guys. You guys have to go a little bit slower because you're dragging an unconscious body a little bit. Mm -hmm. um, but as you guys see the front doors, you see that the front doors are starting to close. Okay. What do you do? Wait for us. <laughs> yeah. Uh, if I pick up Usarker, will we go faster? Mm -hmm. Okay. I pick up Usarker and we can pull out so, sprint. Okay. So two of us carrying him. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Flat out running, and I'm just kind of in the lead, like waving my scimitar, like, wait for us! <laughs> All right. So these big, heavy keep doors, they the man, wait. <laughs> they they're starting to close, and somebody sees you and he goes, "Hurry up! Hurry up! They're starting to come!" And as you guys look behind you, you see that there are a ton of cultists and kobolds and these oh my dragon, word. small dragon An things. army of them? Are, they're starting to they're starting to make their way to the keep on all sides from behind you, from on the other side of the keep. They're just making their oh way in, into town. Um, Booking at, it. <laughs> so as you guys book it, you manage to make it through. And <gasps> just as you make it through, the doors <sighs> behind you. And that is where we're going to end our session. Ooh, wow. Perfect. We Thanks survived. For, we did. We still survived. This for us, Corin. This is very fun. Yeah. Yes. Very good. Hey, very Sarker, good. you're just unconscious, but you're not dead. It's <laughs> yes. true. You know, I mean, I was going to encourage you to leave me behind. That way you could continue doing good work. And then Kurt went down. And I was like, eh, <laughs> nope. They might as well just carry us all along. Yeah. Hey, guys. This is Ashlyn. Thank you for listening to this episode of Powered Crit. Remember to stay tuned for more adventure on poweredcrit.com or on your favorite podcast streaming site.